Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'd like to once again thank all of you for joining us today and for choosing Western Health Advantage as your Medicare Advantage carrier. Uh, we will do our best to earn and keep your trust for many, many years. Uh, what we are going to go through today is one of the Let's Talk Benefits series that you've registered for. Today's topic is behavioral health. And each webinar is going to be devoted to a specific benefit, and it's to your advantage to visit as many of these webinars as you can so you understand fully what you have in your benefit and how you can make the most of it to meet your needs. Today we are uh, welcoming our guest, Mark, please tell me if I pronounce this correctly, Kieran. He is the Director of Client Management with Optum Health. You got it correct. Great. Mark, I'll let you go ahead. I'm going to stop sharing and let you take it over. Oops. All right. I had that first slide up too, so I have to uh, just uh, restart my Here, I my can deck. go ahead and sh I can, I think, can we co-share? Um, can we co-share? You know, that's um, that's okay. I can, um, I just have to, I can share if, I, if you're ready for me to take it over. Just have to guide me. I'm not used to <laughs> Zoom. We never use Zoom, so. Okay, well, here, let's see. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm not sure if Raymond is still on the phone. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and share. Here you go. So how do I uh, give control over to Mark here? Do you see the share button on your screen, Mark? At the bottom of the top. I am looking for share, but it's not like- If you can like... see my screen, do you see it at the top? That's okay, I'll move the slides for you. How's that? Sure. Okay. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Thanks for your patience. All right. So uh, I think you can move on. Um, Mark here in Director of Client Management. And um, slides were presented yesterday, so or developed yesterday. That's why I said the 29th and not the 30th. My apologies. So um, we're keeping the agenda pretty simple. Just would like to go through a little bit about who is Optum, in case some of you don't know. And then um, how do you work with us in this case? So um, move on to the next slide, please. So a little bit about Optum. Uh, Optum is part of United Health Group, and we have been working with Western Health now for one year directly, and we have a couple of products in place with them. One is the, the behavioral health solution for the commercial population, uh, which includes kelpers, as well as the Medicare population, which also, that also includes kelpers. And so uh, Optum has been uh, part of the United Health Group actually through uh, acquisition and expansion and things like that for um, you know, well over 20 years. Uh, we are um, experts in California. Uh, the plan started as United Behavioral Health Plan in California and it's taken on various iterations since then, some of which uh, still exist. And so you might've seen part of these solutions in the past. Um, but with Western Health, uh, it's a new relationship. And so, like I mentioned, we started uh, a year ago. We are NCQA accredited. We have not missed a certification in like over 15, 20 years. I don't think we've ever missed one. And we are URAC accredited as well. And uh, what does that mean? Uh, in California, it means that we are uh, fully licensed to offer a Knox Keen Managed Behavioral Health Organization type plan to uh, all of the members, that's more commercially related. Um, from a Medicare perspective, we are also uh, authorized to offer services for uh, the Medicare Advantage population for Western Health. Um, next slide. So this is a build slide, Denise, just so you know. Um, Optum has removed uh, Western Health uh, from the middle of the referral and authorization request process. And this is important for members as I think well as providers in that we're trying to make things easier 
one of our goals at Optum is to reduce friction in the marketplace by getting healthcare, uh, making it available, uh, easier to access, uh, so on and so forth, and, and uh, you know, do everything we can to keep it uh, affordable. So um, by removing Western Health from the middle of the uh, operational end of things, what it does is, um, you know, we have population health programs in place with Western Health. We have other people delegated to uh, review members' health and uh, refer members over to Optum Behavioral Health if needed. The medical groups can also directly refer members over to Optum Behavioral Health directly if they so choose. And, um, you know, it's not necessary, though, that they do that because members can, and this is really, really important, members can self-refer. And that's unlike other situ situations in the marketplace, I have been told. Uh, I don't manage any other plans in California myself. I do have colleagues that, that do. But from what I understand, what we're doing with Western Health is actually quite unique. And so no PCP referral is required. Now you can go to the next slide. So a little bit about uh, Optum Behavioral Health and you know, how it works. Um, we, we will guide and engage members, regardless of whether they self-refer or whether or not we have analytics telling us that we should reach out to a member or whether a, a provider is actually telling us we should be reaching out to a particular member. We offer a full spectrum of care type modalities. And what that means is that we have anything from uh, self-care type of an approach uh, dealing with members as well as their families uh, and children to include areas like autism, so on and so forth, to other areas of mental health issues that might be considered low severity, moderate severity, or high severity. And depending on that type of stratification, that will help inform Optum on what is probably the best approach for that particular member. And so again, uh, not that it's a hard rule, but we do make available to members the ability to explore self-care along the way. We have digital solutions, which we'll get to in just a second on a couple of other slides. Don't change it yet. But I just wanted to uh, emphasize that we are a full behavioral health plan that does offer all types of care for all members within Western Health. And so from the Medicare population, um, you know, that applies as well. And we bring to that table uh, an individualized approach where we'll offer care guidance around um, uh, various solution types, uh, depending on what the member's needs are. Again, very individualized. We'll use our clinical expertise uh, with millions of visits uh, managed over uh, the many, many years we've been in business. Um, and we'll do this by, again, using proprietary analytics to help inform our caregivers, as well as based on what the member wants us to actually do for them. In addition, and something that's not listed in these slides, I really wanted to uh, bring this out, is that we'll also employ and integrate social determinants of health information into our uh, care manager's approach when working with members. If a member shows up and it's uh, realized that they might need help with food or shelter or some other sort of safety uh, item, we have an approach that will help guide members to find care in whatever those uh, specific needs might be for their individual situation. So now you can go to the next slide. So one of the things I mentioned just a minute ago was that we offer self-care. And you know, through nine months of consumer research, one of the things we found was that improving a digital experience was really, really important. We wanted to find ways to make it easier to access care and find support. We have heard in the marketplace and particularly in California that finding care was a challenge and that there just weren't providers that were able to see members. And so um, by, by helping guide members in a better way, we think we're able to deliver that for the Western Health membership. And one of the things that's coming, and we'll be able to uh, perhaps explore this a little bit, depending if we can figure out how to share the screen. I see it now uh, down there on, on the button I would need to uh, click in order to share it. And maybe we can do that here in a minute. But um, 
you know, when you uh, follow the directions here that we'll go through in the next couple of slides and follow the links, you'll be able to uh, curate your own member experience on the web and help find care and other types of solutions in, a digital, uh, in the digital space. So maybe uh, go to the next uh, slide right now. And, and this kind of gives a little bit of a description on, on finding that care and, and how to realize what your benefits are with Western Health. If in the event you'd rather you know, view that through uh, our ecosystem called Live and Work Well. So it, you can work with a loved one or you yourself can actually go through this uh, exploration. And whether you need short-term solutions or uh, have a chronic mental condition, again, these digital support tools are there for you each and every day to use and refer to in the event you feel you might need it. Um, in addition to uh, Live and Work Well, we also offer what's called Able To. And Able To is an app. Uh, you use it on either an iPad or an iPhone, something like that. And this would be a self-care type of an approach where you can find uh, you know, either self-care techniques, uh, cognitive behavioral self-guided therapy approaches and things like that for your particular condition. But in many, many cases, there are people that feel though they need to actually have additional guidance and they actually wanna work with a therapist or they wanna work with a psychiatrist or a licensed you know, you know, care social worker, so on and so forth. Um, and in those cases, that's where you would actually access Live and Work Well and then try to find a provider near yourself. So again, we've been doing this for over uh, a year. And one thing I wanted to update, and I apologize, Denise, that this did not get across on this slide. And it'll be fine either way, I think, for this audience. But we actually have two uh, codes that members can use when they're guiding themselves through Live and Work Well. Uh, and I think one, Denise, you're going to actually show how people can get to that through the Western Health website because we have what's called a single sign-on solution and you'll get to this solution already signed in. But if you were to go to the web just from the outside and you typed in live and work well, there's two things you can do. One, it'll ask you for a code. And if you don't have a actual a member ID or anything at that moment in time, you can explore live and work well in what the Western Health environment would be by using the code WHA or you can also use WHA-Medicare. And uh, WHA-Medicare is actually the most appropriate solution for the Medicare Advantage market. So wanted to mention that. And Denise, this was where I was actually gonna go in and uh, show the audience what it would be like in the live and work well space. So e either way, I'm we can go through it. Link. Sure, no, through we can your do end. Why don't you go ahead and, and I can guide you on uh, what we should do. Great. Okay, let me click this. Let me make sure everybody can see the screen once it pops up. Okay, can anybody see the screen? I think it's still showing your original uh, PowerPoint slide. Okay, hold on. So we'll go ahead and reshare. There we go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Great. So uh, that's perfect. And in, and in this case, um, you would want to click uh, browse with an access code because I am not a Western Health member. So right underneath the sign in, it says browse with an access code. Go ahead and click that. And so now. In WHA yeah. Medicare? Yeah, Dash Medicare. Uh, dash dot or just, oh, Dash Medicare. Okay. Uh, actually, just, just go ahead and put in, uh, it might all be one lowercase, but actually go ahead and uh, put in just WHA. Okay. 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 Let's <laughs> go back. There we go. There we go. There we go. So this is the particular site for Western Health. And when you are, uh, you can see in the upper right hand corner, you don't need to click any of these, but um, it has language preference, but it also has an ability for you to register or sign in. And, and again, towards the end of the presentation, Denise will go through 
from the Western Health side, what that would look like if you're actually logged into their uh, website. Um, it would take you right into uh, Live and Work Well as you would, would then be able to go in and review specific information relative to your particular benefits. But the thing I really wanted to show here is if you could click on Find Care in, next to Home, yep, and then at the bottom option there, Find Provider Directory. And one of the things, as I'd mentioned before, is the digital guidance tools that we want to bring are going to actually help you find care in a more expeditious fashion. So if you want to just click on change location and type in Sacramento, so right under where it says uh, Pretty Prairie, Kansas, click that and type in Sacramento. And after a couple of letters, it should come up as an option. There you go. And right now it's gonna search based on probably a hundred mile radius to start with, um, what it is that you would wanna find based on what you're looking for. So um, if you would like to just put in, um, you know, search for a psychologist, shit, therapist, that's great, sure, go ahead. And now you can see how it says, you know, within a hundred miles, that's what you're gonna see, but let's narrow it down, go to, go to 20. Let's be aggressive. Okay, I don't know if you noticed it, but I, I was able to see how uh, the information had changed there further down below. So um, first particular provider that comes up is uh, April Bodily. And um, this happens to be a virtual visit only provider. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention to the audience as well is that Optum has the largest behavioral health network in the state of California for uh, managed care options. And we, we can look at this a number of different ways, but when we include virtual therapists and then therapists, I'm sorry, not just therapists, providers as a whole, when we look at the, the we call from a commercial perspective, the 10 county area, I'd have to look further between each individual county, what it would be, but there are uh, in California, over 30,000 providers that are part of the Optum network. And that's just a, 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 an immense number. And when we're looking at actual individual providers uh, who see patients face-to-face -face in the 10 county area for Western Health, I think we're at somewhere in the neighborhood of 4,000 providers. Um, what it is exactly in Sacramento would obviously be a subset of that. But what we have found through exploring and trying to find care is that really in every instance, there's always been somebody available for us to find an appointment with. So if you scroll down a little bit, Denise, I think we'll see some more options down there that will show us who might be available. And it looks like it's sorting by virtual uh, visits only. So one of the things we can do yeah. Uh, through your exploring is actually remove virtual visits if you wanted to. So up above, if you want to clear those filters or just click on that one and maybe we can deselect it. Yeah. Or actually, once you go to specialty right. and click on, click on specialty and then um, do master's level cl clinician. Okay, so from here, you want me to just click? Here we go. It just, it needs just to takes load. a while. It's still on virtual, so should I just clear it? Yeah, go ahead and clear it. We will check just specialty. Yeah, go ahead and click specialty. thinking about it. There we go. And we're back to virtual. So is there a way to? Yeah, I don't know if there's something funky going on today. I mean, there is always a chance that could be happening. But I, I think there is uh, in the internet world in general, because we've been having a couple of hiccups on our end too. So yeah. Um, in any case, we'll figure this out, folks, on how to sort it. And I'll make sure I email each one of you. 
but let's just go ahead. That's really the guidance I wanted to show relative to live and work well, because most people want to know, how do I find the provider? But if you were to, um, you know, go back out of this, Can we go back to the presentation? Yeah, no, that's that's good. That's good. Um, what I wanted to show people here was on the front splash page, if you if you will, there are um, ways for members to find out, you know, more information about their benefits. And so, um, you know, you have that one video right there. Get to know your covered benefits. I would not click on that right now, but if you were to just scroll down a little bit more below these uh, areas, you can see there are additional tools to help guide a member in terms of either exploring benefits, um, finding self-help skills to uh, assist with a, a self-care approach, or in if you go down even further, um, you know, one of the things, and again, this is, yeah, autism resources may not be super applicable in uh, Medicare Advantage, uh, prenatal and postpartum support uh, is probably not going to show up on the Medicare Advantage page. But, um, you know, there are the other types of uh, tiles, we call them, such as mind body connection, uh, getting support for your family, um, things like that, that are areas that you can learn more and explore more with on this particular website. In addition to that, there are ways to uh, contact us directly. And when you're logged in through Western Health, it'll actually have their contact information. So um, it's good to know that that's uh, available as well. We are always just a phone call away. So with that, I'll just pause and see you know, what type of questions does anybody have and see if I can answer them for you. And that's right, my apologies. You wanted to show people how they would access this through your uh, particular site, Denise. So that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, yeah. Let me... Just one moment. Let me let me get into. I'm trying to. Uh, it's not cooperating very well with me. But um, yes, I will go ahead and pull up the Western Health screen. I'm not sure. Can everybody see this or no? Let's see. Let me try this one more time. Here we go. Okay. So once you are at, um, this is on medicare.westernhealth.com, but if you were to go to even just where you um, signed on for the webinar, this is taking you to, to mywad.org. And from here, from this page, you can get to many different places. Um, but what I wanted to show you today is if you go to search doctors, find a doctor. You don't even have to log in as a member to do this, but you can either choose primary care physician and search for regular doctor or specialist over here, or on the right-hand side under our partners in care. Again, you do not need a referral. Um, uh, you could just go ahead and click on the behavioral health provider, and it takes you right to the site we were just at, the Live and Work Well site. So it's as simple as that as well. And uh, I don't need to take you through all this. Mark just did a great job doing that. But uh, if you ever need help going through this site once you're here, you can always contact um, the member service team and we can walk you right through it. Okay, something else I wanted to show you. So it's so, so for any, any specialist, eyewear, acupuncture, chiropractic that you're looking for it, you'll go through the provider search. Now, if you go to Medicare Advantage, um, this takes you to the Medicare Advantage page where you can get 
all of your information that you're looking for here as well and then attend a webinar, which is where you signed up for this one. So that is what I was going to share. Does anybody have any questions on this? It looks like we might have one question. Um, I had added just into the chat that I lied to you. It's not a dash. I had forgotten. It's actually <laughs> all one word, just WA Medicare. We'll actually get you into what's called the, yeah, the Medicare Advantage member site. It looks almost exactly the same. There are a couple of minor differences to it. Okay. And I, I mean, I'm happy to um, share my screen to show that if we want, since I can now figure out how sure. to do that. Yeah, actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, are we? Are you good on sharing it now? I mean, did you, did you, did you find the share button? Um, I, I did just click to share it, but I don't know if it actually. You have to choose the screen. So once you click share, you have yeah. to, there you go. We got it. Thank you. OK. So this is the, and, and what will tell you the difference is, or inform you of the difference is that it actually says Medicare Advantage members. Um, and as I mentioned, the, 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 the biggest difference is gonna have to do with, I think, benefit information. Um, and then you're not gonna see things like the postpartum tile here, but you're gonna see some other information about, for example, the basics. And let's see if, on my end, if we do find care that um, in my provider directory, I'm able to change the location and see if we can get some better results. So it changed on my end. Is it changing quickly on your end too? Yes, it is. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Or did you okay. not want it to change quickly? No, I did. <laughs> I love it when things work. Um, OK, so I don't know if you saw what I did there, but uh, I clicked on psychologist. And we're already within Sacramento, California. And um, you know what we find is that you know there's uh, 917 in-network providers. That's a lot. Um, and for example, Christy Sherman was the first one that uh, showed up. Now, uh, I think depending on uh, where we're at in the implementation, you know, each individual provider, um, you know, when we look at things like average cost in your area and things like that, I think these are really just their, uh, this is not your individual health plan information, um, but this is just like the average cost that a 60 minute appointment would cost for, for this particular provider. So um, there you go. I mean, it kind of shows you whether they are um, offering virtual care, whether they are accepting patients. Um, this is not a virtual only provider. So uh, it would have said that on here if that was the case. Um, they are in network. So, you know, I think you get also then some star rating information, which is nice to have. Um, that's going to be just, you know, reported from customers. So pretty quickly, you can find uh, resources available in your area, whatever that area might be, to, um, to help find some care. You can also save your providers if you would like and create your own as you're logged in list of providers that you'd like to uh, explore. Kind of just depends on what your particular need is at that point in time. Um, some of the other things that when you are looking for information on the site, other than finding care, again, we have uh, the self-help resources. Um, there are various health assessments you can take by going on to here and um, actually, you know, take a particular health assessment if you would like. Um, you would need to register in order to do this. But, um, and or if you're logged in through Western Health, you should already be able to go in and take this type of an assessment. Um, it's just really a, a, a large ecosystem in the digital space for you to help uh, find care on your own. Again, as we mentioned, you do not need to see a PCP for, for whatever reason. And I think we all probably are aware of something like this, but behavior, behavioral health over the years has been 
you know, there's a stigma or there's been, you know, people might feel as though it's uh, shameful, which is horrible that they have a mental health condition and that sometimes they feel it's their fault. We all now know this is obviously not the case. We treat things completely differently nowadays, but it's still really, really hard sometimes uh, to one, know of people that have and or need help or two, if you are that person and you you need the help and you don't necessarily know where to go or you don't wanna to talk to somebody necessarily about it, through curating these digital uh, offerings and through offering multiple modalities in which you can engage and find care and solutions for your conditions, uh, that's what really what we're trying to do at Optum is offer multiple pathways in and not say no to anybody. That's really, I think one of the biggest takeaways we have is If you're just plain curious, um, we had mentioned on the slide deck that there was the uh, area called Explore and Learn. And uh, through there, you might find this tab here on the top that says Explore and Learn. And here you can find out what does it mean to actually look into therapy? Um, there are tools and videos in here that help you find out about that. You might know already that, geez, I need some help with substance use disorder, substance support. It could be alcoholism. It could be opiates, it could be marijuana, whatever that might be. Uh, we have solutions for that. So really throughout the, ex the, the entire spectrum of uh, mental health issues, uh, Optum has, has you covered. And you can look in through this, through this website through, through multiple levels of interest to find help, care, help and care for others or for yourself. And that's really what I wanted to show you today. And um, I know we're at 1230 Central, and so it's <laughs> what 1030 your time. How are we doing on time? I want to do a time check, and then I want to see if there's any questions. Yeah, we're doing well, and I appreciate that. Um, I don't know if, let's see, whose screen are we on, mine or yours? Let's see. You are on mine, and I can stop sharing Okay. if you want me to. Yes. I will get back to here, there, and then we'll get down to here. Okay, you know, first I just wanna thank everybody for their patience. I don't know why we had so many issues with Zoom today. Um, just trying to get down to here. We can get down to the right screen, right here. All right, so first, thank you very much, Mark. I We really appreciate you joining us to go through um, the site and explain to us about Optum and all the benefits that it has for all of us. Um, you know, I learned a few things myself today, so thank you very much. And I want to thank each and every one of you to make sure that if you have questions, please, please, please put them in the chat box and we'll go ahead and address them. We'll, we can also, you know, you can email us directly if you wish and we'll get those answered for you. Um, I'll ask my coworkers if they see any questions. I don't see any at the moment. Other than, I do have one. Um, if I have an autistic son who is on Medicare, would he not show up on the Medicare site under autism? Or would autism show up on the Medicare site? So yes, you let, can I steal the ball again? Of course you can. All right starting to have fun with this Zoom stuff. Let me know when you can see yeah, it. Right. Can I see anything? I think I have to stop. And then you share. We see a blank screen. So you have to choose a screen for us to view. Yeah, I think it was because I needed to, uh, you needed to release it. I am sharing now. It says I am anyway on my end. It says you've started sharing, but we don't see anything. So when you click share, it, a thing, a window pops up and you choose the screen that you want to show us? Yep. I did hmm. that. Okay. Let me... Um, I see a black screen. <laughs> and it says, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop one more. Screen. I'm going to stop one more time. Um, okay. I'm going to click, I'm going to click share uh, again. Okay. And... I don't have any black screens over here, so um, I'm sharing my entire uh, 
screen one and I just click share it. It says there we it go. Says, now we see it. Now okay. we see it. it. Said to me I was sharing. All right. So um one, once you leave the Medicare when you're on your Medicare Advantage page that we were talking about by logging in via WA Medicare West WHA Medicare or if you're logged in through uh, through Western Health website into this ecosystem. Once you go to find care and things like that um, or explore care, it, it tends to bump out and and it becomes more of a of a even though the logo is still there, it's really what we offer in in terms of the um, overall solution for Western Health. And so my caps lock was on, but it still even figured that out. Okay, what am I looking for here? Autism, autistic. So if I click autism, okay, there are a number of, of items that uh, that came up. So you can find out information here and find guidance about uh, autism here. But at the same time, if we want to find care, and if we already know what we want, All right, so you should be able to see that we're in the Sacramento area. I just typed in autism because I didn't know what else I wanted to do, but I know that word autism. So the system's pretty smart. And so it's gonna ask you when you're, that, when you're searching in that broadly to help refine the information that you're looking for. So, um, you know, when we have autism, uh, one thing I want to mention about that, and this is really a, a great point. So Optum has the largest applied behavioral analysis network in the country. We also have the largest overall behavioral health or mental health network, but our applied behavioral health analysis team is actually a specialty team. They are the only, and I don't want to say only because things are starting to change a little bit, but they are the expert when it comes to treating autism. They go through particular levels of schooling to become a uh, applied behavioral analyst. And they are part of, uh, they get a certification uh, called BCBA. Um, and I forget exactly what that actually means. I used to know because um, I dealt with it a lot. But uh, BCBA uh, providers are the ones that provide the care with our ABA network. So um, what you would do then is just say, click on uh, autism area of expertise. And you would find then within, you know, 100 miles, let's narrow it down within 20 miles, um, that there are these particular providers that are offering uh, ABA services in your area. And so the first couple were offering virtual visits only, but Interestingly, it only took a couple to get down to uh, Catherine Boltz here, who, I'm sorry, uh, Jeffrey Schultz here, who would be a particular provider you would see in person. They're accepting patients and they are in network. They also happen to offer virtual care in addition to seeing members face to face. So that would be one way to go about um, finding out somebody in the network if you have the Medicare Advantage benefit a uh, particular uh, way to find help around autism. Does that uh, address that question, Denise? I believe it does. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't see any other questions. Elise, Eric, do you see any? I'm missing any. Nope, I think we're Mark, all set. Mark, I believe you did a thorough job, so thank you very much. Again, I just really apologize that we had a lot of hiccups here, but we all got through it, and I think that, uh, again, it was um, abundant information, and we really appreciate it. So that being said, uh, make sure you sign up for our, our uh, additional webinars. Uh, let's see, I think, believe the next one is on the 2nd of Let's see, is it the second? Let me see. Oops. 
Hold on, we'll find out together. Um, that is going to be on uh, nope. I don't have it, kids. You at least do you have the calendar? February sixth. True hearing, February seventh. Six. Or six. Tuesday. Okay. So February sixth, yeah. next Tuesday, ten o'clock. It'll be true hearing. And we'll have those folks give us an in-depth um, over, you know, uh, presentation on the hearing aids that are offered through True Hearing, and they're more like computers. There's, they're no longer hearing aids. Everything's a computer. These things are amazing. I mean, next level, they're going to be driving our cars, <laughs> but uh, they're pretty awesome for what you get, uh, you know, for the copay of six ninety nine or nine ninety nine. So join us for that, and then. If anybody has, like we said, any additional questions, please feel free to go ahead and email us or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you. Enjoy the rest of your day. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.